Hi, welcome to the Lot of Coupons Roku TV channel. In this clip, I want to share with you how it really isn't necessary to buy a domain name, have a website of your own, that it is possible to use all free platforms available on the web to generate residual income. I have a blog a blog. It's free write revenue streams dot blogspot dot com and I treat that specific blog as a website. I update it occasionally. The content right on. I when things change I add changes. It has a few pages and I also have the blog update page that I add to it at least once a month to let people know what I'm up to. But it's a perfect example of what you can achieve using free. And at, towards the bottom of the Free Write Revenue Streams blog, you'll see other links to many other blogs I've created using blogger.com. And I generate residual income. It didn't happen overnight. I build on them, I update them occasionally. You know, but eventually they start working on their own, you know, as time goes on. They get into the search engines and they get indexed to the search engines. They start bringing organic traffic their way. And that's good. So I'm going to give you an inside view of how the blogger works. Blogger has come so far. It's not generic anymore. They give you hundreds of choices to choose from to give, it, give you a blog its own uniqueness and it can be intimidating at first learning how to use a platform so I thought I'd spare a couple of minutes and give you an inside view on how I create blogs using blogger.com on into my blogger and I'm going to do this in about five minutes I'm just going to give you a quick recap and let you watch me browse throughout the blogger platform blogger is great it used to be so generic Blogger is not generic anymore. They just keep adding features and, you know, they, they're keeping up with their competition because there's a lot of free out there. I created a blog, test, 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 because I'm going to delete this afterwards. You click on new blog and you figure out a blog title to your blog. I'm going to click this arrow. I'm going to show you the things I use and that I think are great. I'm going to click settings because when I click settings, all the sections pop up. And I love that. The first thing I'm going to show you is, before we even go anywhere, description. If you want your blog to be found in a search engine or eventually get indexed to a search engine, these are, these are a few of the things you have to do. Add a description. Usually it's a few sentences. But then you can take it deeper. Of course you can adjust the post and comments. I always put everyone. I never comment moderation. I mean, that's up to you. And in the comment form message, I write thank you for visiting. I don't know what that is. That's just that's something to do with blog. It doesn't look like that on the when people receive the message. And don't forget to visit a lot of coupons.com because when people leave a comment, this automatic automatically gets sent to them. Mobile and email. I don't use this but I do use comment notification email. I put in a few emails here because I don't really open this email, but other emails I do. So when people leave a comment, I receive it on an email that I open at least five days a week. I want to know when people are commenting as soon as possible because I can re reply fast. It, it shows that the blog has activity. And then your time zone and your language and formatting. Search preferences. Now here's a description and meta tags. Don't be fearful. Click edit. This goes up to 150 characters. I just put my name in there just to show you. But I usually I would put two sentences here. That helps too with search engine optimization. Getting indexed to the search engines. It really does matter. And that's something simple that you don't need to know any code or anything. And other if you're into feeds and stuff, blog tools, you can import a blog, export this blog. I don't know everything of Blogger, but I do know this. Click on template. I love this. This is where you can find your pre-made templates. You can either get them here. 
simple dynamic views, picture window, and so on. I like to click on customize. I was playing around with it, refresh my memory. There's so much to blogger that you have to use it every day for hours to become, to know every little feature about it. Here you get the same thing, pick your template. But what I like to do is I like to click background. And this is um, set on simple. So when I click background, it automatically color schemes pop up. That you don't have to adjust the colors yourself. I like to adjust the colors myself. But if you're not if you're not into it, they do the work for you. You can click the arrow and develop a new color. However you want. See how the colors change? You know, it's up to you. Whatever choice you want. And you just click on this gray area and it goes away. And then you click apply to blog. You click on this arrow right here. This is where you get more background images. I'm just going to click them just to show you. There's a lot of choices here and different categories. This is abstract, the arts, business, celebrations, entertainment, family, and the list goes on. Food and drink, health and beauty. You got a lot of choices. Well, patterns has a lot of choices. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty funky. So you pick one and you get to work. Oh, textures. I like the textures. Let's stick with that. Now I'm going to go to adjust widths. I'm going to take the slider. I'm going to place my cursor on the slider and slide it. You can make it wider or skinnier. Choice is yours. You see the left side here? This is the sidebar. You can make it really skinny. You can make it really wide. I'm going to click apply to blog. I'm going to click on layout. Because I'm an AdSense publisher, there's always a few that you use all the time. Either left sidebar, um, I'm sorry, right sidebar, left sidebar, one footer at the bottom. Because that's where I like to place my ads and my banners. You could do both sides and then they have other choices. Now this goes even deeper page text. You see this here right here it says subscribe to where my cursor is. Just watch that. Well maybe I'll, I don't know if it'll change the top. Oh it does. It does change the page description. Crushed. Crafty girls. That's pretty cool. Yeah you can have a lot of choices here. Again probably a hundred. Make a bold Make it larger. Nice. Change the color. Well, that's hard to show you that when that's that big. Let's go back to 42. I'm going to scroll down a bit. Here, this is where you can see the color changing. See that? Nice. Background. That's the outer background, and you, you see it changed a little bit. But you could change that background. Or you could make it transparent. Oh, that looks nice. That's easy to read. That's a nice background. Like that. Header background. We'll make that transparent too. It is transparent. Okay, how about make that brown? You know, I'm going to. adjust this. So make it a little easier to follow. Links, link color, visitor link, Hoover link. Hoover link is somebody places their cursor over a link and doesn't click it and hoovers to another color. Blog title. See the red dots? It's telling you. You're working on that now. The blog title. Change that. Change that. That's pretty neat. Blog description. Same thing. I pick a bright yellow. Tabs text. You see the tabs on the side. Tabs background. And when you when you're clicking on him, browse down a bit because then you learn. You see, you know the 
You see the bottom links change and the content, the, the font color. That's how I learned. I just kept looking. If I didn't see something change, I scrolled down. And I went, oh, that's what that's changing. That's what that's linked to. You know, post title. Some of the blog templates have a date header, post footer, gadgets, and the list goes on. That you still have to learn. And cascading style sheets, that's code. I'm learning that, but you could do it that way too. I'm going to a click click apply to blog, go back to blogger, and that's something to show you. Now this is just a lot of coupons.com quick bloggy blog that I did a while ago and it's out there and just like any other URL it takes time for it to get indexed to the search engines and all that but I'm going to build on this and I'm going to tweak this but you have to start someplace this isn't bad I like the white background I like the orangey red a lot of coupons.com on top I like the way the background image you see the carrot and the garden I thought it worked and I'm gonna build on it it, it, it has a relevancy and these links here, I should change the color of these links. This is all related to food stuff. So it has relevancy to grocery store coupons. Then you can click on overview, see some information, and you take it from there. You gotta browse around, guys. You can add pages, click on pages, and you click new page. And if you click blank page, what your home page turns into. I'm going to close this. That's the format that the new page will receive. Or you could do it to another web address. Comment section. You, you see the spam and everything else. Just keep clicking away and you'll learn it. But don't let Blogger, don't, don't feel that you know a free platform like Blogger is intimidating. Because unless you watch some videos, you don't, you don't always want to sit in front of the computer. So I thought I would create a video for the Roku TV channel. So if you want to learn how to create some fun free stuff, I mean, you have a, you have a business. You could create an awesome blog. You don't need a domain name in order to get indexed to the search engines. I mean, you build on a blog long enough, it's going to be out there. Oh, this is something good to show you. This is worth showing you. Then I'll end it on this note. Um... I'm going to click post. I didn't post anything on this blog yet, but I'm going to create create a new post. And it brings you to here. This is where you do all your typing. And that's how that is. And of course, you could highlight it, bold it. I like to do all my typing. And when I go to the customize section, I let it take it from there. I, I do a lot of my adjusting, editing from there. And then, of course, you could do some basic coloring. It's limited in this section. But in order to help yourself get indexed to the search engines, um, see how it's limited the, the features of adjusting it, giving it your own uniqueness? If you go here and click on labels, these are your keywords. And this helps your blog, comma, food, comma, grocery store, Oops, coupons, and I put about you know, at least like six or seven. They, I've heard people say don't put more than 15 keywords, but Blogger calls their keywords and tags labels. Without them, how does the search engine know to you know, index you? It helps the search engines index you, even though they spider your content. It makes it easier. You have more of a chance of getting indexed. Search description. Here's another place you can add a description. I fill in all three. The first one I showed you, the second one in the maiden tag that I showed you, and this. Because it does matter. It just does. And then they have permalinks and stuff. I don't use these. But you can. Maybe in due time. I like to put my location. I want people to know where I'm from. So that's how it is with Blogger. I hope, you know, you have a lot of fun with the new features Blogger has added, and they continue to add more. Enjoy the freebie. Okay, I hope the inside view of using Blogger by Google, the Blogger Blogs, you know, help you learn the platform a little faster than learning it on your own. And now you may be asking, 
well, if she claims everything can be done using free, why does she have websites? And it was a personal choice. I wanted a couple of domain names, a couple of websites. And the price that I got, I use web starts. They're very inexpensive. And I bought them the domain names for five years because it was so dirt cheap. I do receive 1099s now. I needed some kind of write-off besides my internet service provider. You know, now I write off my phone because I use it for business. I'm, I'm in touch with people, the internet service. Um, my television because I'm using my TV to view all the video clips I'm uploading to my Roku TV channel. So it's good that I have a few, a handful of write-offs because I needed them. But it is possible. I mean, if you, you have your job and you want to um, create residual income on the side in your spare time. This is something you can do in your spare time. And later on in the future, if you have that desire like I did, I wanted to learn programs. I'm going to record videos on how I put together, develop this Roku TV channel all in due time. Because, you know, I, I, I want to build a full-time business out of it. Eventually, someday, I will be fully self-employed. That was my goal when I started. And look where I am now. But I built a, a lot of my business. Um, I built the solid platform using free platform websites, resources available on the web. 